So hey there, it's been about a week, and the last time you were talking to me, or you're watching me and I was talking to you guys, I was doing a flea market haul. So I'm back again a day late because uh, my dad was in, and uh, tagged him around, showing him some stuff. But I got a pretty awesome flea market haul this time. I got an out-of-print Criterion to show you guys, have an um, out-of-print uh, cartoon series that, I, uh, that I've been looking for for a long time. I uh, got a complete series, and... I'll be right back, right after this. So hey there, so I went to the flea market this week, and the usual tables that I go to, one was there, and he had a few t TV series, and I'm trying to pare down my uh, my buying because, and hopefully I will be going to England now in October. Now, uh, I got to one t one table that I usually go to is gone. He's gone for a few weeks. He's gonna be coming back in, I think, in early September. And uh, there was this other table there, kind of like she was paring down some of her collection, and I could see right away that there's some stuff that I wanted to check on, but some of the stuff I figured was gonna be fairly expensive. Luckily enough, uh, me and my better half went over there, uh, picked up a bunch of stuff. Because when you're going to a yard sale or a flea market and you get something that interests you, if there's other things that interest you too, bundle it together because usually you get a better deal that way. And that's really what happened with us. Uh, I had an amazing deal. So here we go. So first off, my better half picked up, uh, this, and this is all from the same person, or from the same table, picked up a... Uh, Pina, which is a, uh, I don't know a lot about it actually, it's a uh, dance, uh, looks colorful, looks bright, it's very, you know, it's one of those, uh, you know, kind of cool, I, I don't know, if she was here she could tell you a lot more about it than I could, and I probably should know about this one, but I don't, so, <clears throat> going on once I do know, this one I do know, and I wanted to get this one, uh, I'm a big fan of the film. I'm a big fan of the guy that does commentary on the film as well. Uh, just kind of fun. And that is Reefer Madness. This is, you know, the special addiction. And uh, we got uh, Mike Nelson here doing the commentary, of course, from Mystery Science Theater. We have both the new color version and a restored original black and white edition. Uh, there's a design commentary, color, color design commentary by Legend Films. There's a short film called Grandpa's Marijuana Handbook. And, of course, the Reefer Madness trailer. So, uh, it's by Legend Films, I like their stuff, and the, uh, Reefer Manus is a classic, so of course I'd have that. I would like to also pick up the, uh, the remake, <clears throat> Reefer Manus, kind of musical, and that was kind of fun. So I'll go for next. So next, I'll go for this one. So I got, and I'm very excited about this, because I'm a very big fan of the show, Gargoyles. Uh, this is complete first season. Now, she gave me this one for very cheap, because... The first disc was missing, uh, but you can see the first disc is there. The thing was that uh, I opened up Season 2, Volume 1 of Gargoyles, which I also bought from her, and uh, Disc 2 from, well, actually the second disc was missing. Disc 2 from Gargoyles, complete first season, was right here. <coughs> so, uh, yay. So, I got this for like a dollar or something like that. <coughs> Roof Man is free. Uh, I'm going to leave the last animation one for I think last because I really am excited about that. I also grabbed the complete series of Elf. Now, uh, I used to watch this a lot when I was younger. It's, uh, it's a, now, some people will go on and talk about the fact that this is a syndicated version. There'll be like a scene or two missing there or some music will be changed. Uh, overall, it's Elf, alien life form, story of Gordon Shumway, who was a, uh, an alien that crash lands into a uh, on Earth and uh, lives with his family, and uh, I don't really care if it's if it's cut down by such and such an amount by a couple minutes or minute or two for a uh, for an episode. It's uh, really the least of my concerns. I think it's a a very fun show, and uh, I love this here. So only problem is that. One of the discs on here 
went missing. So she went looking everywhere for it. Uh, unfortunately, she couldn't find it. <clears throat> so, I, again, I got this for extremely cheap as well. The discs are in mint condition, by the way. But uh, Season 3 Disc 4 was missing. If anybody out there has Season 3 Disc 4 of Elf, and just wants to get rid of the third season because you don't like it, just let me know. Or send it my way. I would be glad to have it because uh, not complete complete, but uh, un complete enough that I definitely, for the price that I paid for this, I definitely had to pick it up. Uh, this was put out by, I think it was Lionsgate, right? Yeah. Lionsgate did this, and I was a big fan of the series when I was growing up, so had to get that. Now, Criterions. I picked up two. The, she only had two there. And the first one was an Anthony Mann film that I've been wanting to get for a long time. I'm a huge Barbara Stanwyck fan. I unfortunately don't have a lot of Barbara Stanwyck in my collection. I got like some, like of uh, a couple of the Bad Girls from Noir type things. She was in that one, and a couple, of, and I got the first two, or I got a couple of the, uh, the you know, the pre-code ones that they put out. I can't remember names of them I'm not off the top of my head right now, but I was able to grab The Furies by Anthony Mann. So Barbara Stanwyck, a great role for her again. She's kind of like the, if I remember this movie, she's not like the nicest character, uh, but uh. Really excited to have this one here. So basically, you got the uh, got the disc right there, and uh, the Furies gets a unlike a nice size booklet, unlike what you see nowadays in the Criterion stuff. Some great pictures, some very very cool stuff. I was really excited to get this, and uh, again, uh, we grabbed this for an amazing price. So. And it also came with one thing that I really like. And if you guys see some of my stuff over there, I've got like uh, Red River and Picking and Hanging Rock. And this one goes along with those because basically it actually, uh, well, it has a novel. And I'm a big, I'm a voracious reader. So yeah, well, I'll be reading this for sure. Uh, same as I want to sit down and read like Picking and Hanging Rock. I want to sit down and read uh, all the, uh, oh man, I got so much reading to do. It's awesome. So Criterion did a really good job with this one. There's some great features on here as well, by the way. There's uh, the movie's action speaks loud in words, a 1967 television interview with director Anthony Mann. supposed to be pretty good, actually. There's an audio commentary, of course, like only uh, Criterion does. A rare 1931 on-camera interview with Wally Houston made for the movie theater series Intimate Interviews. A new video interview with Nina Mann, the daughter of Anthony Mann, Stills Gallery, chat with trailer, of course, the booklet, and uh, just a bunch of stuff. <clears throat> so there's two left. First up is one that uh, they put out some pretty good editions of this, but not with a uh, not this one again, and not the commentary, which is a big deal for me. I have like a couple editions of this film. And it is number 13 in the Criterion Collection. So you guys know it without me even like bringing it up there. Just out of the fact that's number 13 and it's been put out again. But uh, always missing the commentary. That was in the Criterion exclusive. I'm, I'm sure probably some of these other things in here are probably Criterion exclusives. And with the other editions of this film I have, I feel like I now have a complete package for, uh, for this film finally. And sit down to Demi film, so you guys know what it is now, don't you? And it is Silence of the Lambs, number 13 in the Criterion Collection. This has been, as you know, as a horror fan, as a, as a fan of like um, the, of these films, this has been something that I've been looking for for an extremely long time. This booklet is going to remind you of the booklets we have nowadays. So basically, it's just a, just a letter by Amy Tobin from The Village Voice, film critic who uh, basically talks about the film. Features on this edition here are uh, commentary by Jonathan Demme, stars Jodie Foster and Anthony Hopkins, screenwriter Ted Talley, and FBI agent John Douglas. So that's pretty cool. Uh, seven deleted scenes. Uh, deleted scenes were something that were missing off of uh, the, the MGM discs. and that. I think they recently had the deleted scenes, or at least some of them, uh, when the Blu-ray came out. So uh, that's, that's pretty cool. So uh, it's got film story com board comparison, storyboards, FBI crime classification manual. Okay, it'll be interesting to check out. Voices of Death, word for 
word statements of convicted serial killers. I'm actually very interested in checking that part out. That one out. And again, it's like it's a classic film. Uh, Sounds and Lambs, Criterion Collection Edition. Really excited to find this. Uh, when she said she had two Criterions there, I picked the Furies right away. I knew I was going to grab it. She said, and then she said, I think I got Sounds of the Lambs as well. And I was looking all over. I couldn't see it anywhere. So finally, I, she said, it doesn't look like the other Criterions. Because that's an earlier one. And uh, she said, I think it might be out of print. So I, was, I knew it was out of print. But I was staying calm and cool and collected. Silence of the Lambs Criterion Edition. So, very excited to have this one in my collection. I love the look of this, actually. This is all the way they did this. I'm... Oh, man. It's like a gem to have for me. <clears throat> Speaking of ones, that was gems for me to have. Here's one that's uh, pretty much uh, my past. I remember this show so, so much, and it was a cool show. And anyway, in Nintendo Power Magazine, there was a, uh, a comic strip. And that comic strip actually was popular enough to spawn a television series. One that uh, was put out by Shout Factory a few years back, and unfortunately has since gone out of print and become harder to find and pretty much more expensive when you do. Uh, when you're able to grab it. I've been looking for this one for a while. And uh, this is probably not going to say anybody but me. But I. From uh, when I was younger. Not younger younger. But uh, when I was. When I was my. Uh... Anyway. Captain N. The Game Master. The complete series. And that's not exactly true. Because there was a third season of Captain N. Uh, and that had basically had. Uh, was done with uh, Super Mario Bros. And uh, that one. And kind of went on its own on a two to set, but uh, these two are pretty much in by people that like that uh, rate you know animation and like these type of shows and like this retro type of stuff. Uh, Captain and the Game Master, the first two seasons were pretty much the uh, the gold standard of this series. Uh, some people didn't like the way they had some of the characters done. Uh, Mega Man had a really different look to him. Uh, Simon from Castlevania was portrayed in a more kind of like uh, buffoonish type of way. Uh, Kid Icarus is in this as well. Uh, there's a lot of characters from the uh, games. we got a King Hippo from Punch-Out. Uh, man, there's so many characters here. So, I'm going to actually like open this one up to look at it. So, as you can see, it's a very different look for Mega Man, huh? But it actually works. It's kind of cool. Um, each season, there's two seasons here, at 13 episodes. So we got uh, 13 episodes in each season. So see right there. I'll just take it this disc so you guys can see behind it. See the edition quality that's in. It's amazing. So we go with Captain Ann. As you can see, the uh, character there is Game Boy, by the way. So we got Kevin in Video Land, How's Bayou, How's Bayou. Well, there's, a, there's a ton, like Mr. and Mrs. Mother Brain, A Mega Trouble for Mega Land, Three Men the Dragon, Metroid, Sweet Metroid. If you're like a fan of like Nintendo at all, you, then this is something that uh, should definitely be. You see this bonus feature there as well. Exploring Video Land, concept art, character bios. Uh, and of course, there's two other discs for the, uh, of course, the second season. That's a uh, Sun. Okay, that's Simon Belmont from uh, Castlevania, and uh, that's uh, Kid Icarus up there. So, and you can see the, uh, the episodes for the season two. You can see there's more features in there as well. Some more exploring video land concept or character bios. Captain Nintendo, the original short story published in Nintendo Power. Got some great ones there. The Trouble of Tetris, The Lost City of Congo Land, Queen of the Apes, of the Trojan Dragon. I was, I wish I was a Wombat, Wombat Man. Germ Wars, The Feud of Fanadu. 
<clears throat> and again, you open it up. Very colorful discs. I think Mother Brains also. Mother Brains. Some of the bad guys. Some of the baddies here. So very cool. I'm very excited to get this. As you guys know, I collect animation, and uh, my better half loves uh, animated programming. So to find this along with the Gargoyle series were were just amazing. So Captain N. Cannot believe I got this finally. Uh, now, I gotta get Super Mario's and I get, gotta get Zelda. I haven't come across them yet. Hopefully, I will. Uh, we're uh, we, we've got like a bunch of animation that we that we like to get. We like to upgrade our uh, golden uh, Looney Tunes sets too with the platinum set ones as well. So uh, very excited. I'm very excited about this. So see, I always get like these stupid like what do you call it? Uh, pictures. You get like three pictures, and sometimes I'll like make my own or something like that. But I'm just trying to put these up here so and hoping that either Sansa the Lambs or Captain Anne turn up to be one of the things that show up here when I'm doing that. So let's do this this way so we, maybe we can get like double our show. So these two here are out of print, uh, lying out of print, and uh, Cap, you know, Sansa the Lambs has been a favorite of mine. Uh, you know, it's not my favorite, Manhunter's my favorite, but Sansa the Lambs is an amazing film that I actually didn't like when I originally saw it. It was one that I kind of like grew into like uh, discovering actually I like certain parts of it but there's certain things that I just didn't get into until I actually uh, rewatched the film and over time Captain N as you guys know I'm a huge animation fan it looks like the, uh, the same, I'm the same way when it comes to like animation when, as it comes to with the uh, you know my horror and stuff like that there are, there are ones I, that I want to have like when I have the cheesy horror when I have the animation uh, I'm just really excited about this stuff I'm also really excited about that cup of tea that I got having in a second. So, uh, you guys know what time it is right now. It's uh, time for tea. Hey there, so I thought we'd talk a bit about uh, some different stuff and uh, collecting in, uh, in general. So welcome to the after credit sequence and for a lot of times I want to make sure that this is kind of like something or I'm showing something off uh, or you know just talking about stuff or somebody asks me a question I'll answer it. Uh, by the way, uh, the animation video like the show cartoons I like that uh, the grub on that I got in my collection that I'm really excited about uh, that is coming up that has been requested and men mentioned a couple times. Uh, I haven't forgotten that. It's just been a very, very busy uh, last couple of weeks here. Now, uh, I am planning, hopefully, to do another video tonight. I'm not sure what that's going to be on. Uh, so, collecting. When it comes to me, there's certain things that you have to uh, look into. Uh, I look into what, what I feel passionate about. I love, uh, I love the medium. And uh, I'm not a person that's not going to buy something because it's not on Blu-ray. I see that. And I see like comments like, uh, "When is this TV show getting a Blu-ray release? I won't buy it until, unless, until it goes Blu-ray." Uh, they're missing out. I find it kind of silly. Uh, the strongest medium so far to date has been you know, it's been DVD. It's just it dominated like for the uh, for you can correct me if I'm wrong, this guys for the longest period of time. Uh, I know VHS obviously was amazing. On uh, Blu-ray, I love. Uh, you know, laser disc. I love all the mediums, CED, uh, and so that's why I try to collect a bit of it. I have been, as of so far, unsuccessful, and uh, please don't say eBay because it gets really expensive on eBay in trying to get a uh, laser disc player. So I looked around in my area, and I'm hoping that something's going to come around sooner or later, uh, or maybe if I get up to Ontario. Last time I went to Ontario, I looked for around. For, uh, for a laser disc player there as well. I couldn't find one. I found lots of laser discs. even found some CEDs, uh, which the guy at the store didn't know what they were, so I had to kind of like go back and the, talk to him about the history of that. Um, there's a few things on my want list right now. I uh, love to find, uh, I like to get more cold red. And uh, I got one of them, and that's thanks to uh, to James, who actually got me uh, the uh, the Cutthroat's Nine. And I'm so, I was so excited. My dad came out, and I, my dad's a huge fan of. Uh, movies like that so I had to show it to him right away because it was like one of those like you got to see this type of thing and uh, I'm going to 
so and I want to grab more uh, of course more UK releases that's what I'm hoping to do I want to go to uh, to London and uh, there's just certain ones that I that I'd really like to have there's certain animation ones that I would really, really like to pick up a lot of like the cheesy horror stuff that uh, that I like I do love a lot of that stuff and uh, it's part of my uh, my child part of my collections that I that I'm trying to do I'm trying to like garner not just library of like just some movies that I like but stuff that pretty much um, in comes in you know it uh all parts of me and uh with that also that I can actually get a nice cross section of stuff that I really enjoy and that uh that I can that I can keep because basically if physical media is not always around here uh I want to make sure that I've got the best possible collection and library that I can have to uh, to be one of the guys that actually don't you dare cat represents uh physical media in the, in the future we're getting photobombed here hey you this is smoky ta da uh -huh. I know but that's what we're talking about now we're talking about that so if you guys uh, collect uh, I recommend you know just focusing first on stuff that you really really enjoy I uh, like me I, I love slasher films uh, I love slasher films I love horror films I love the cheesy stuff I love exploitation uh, cinema a lot of people don't and uh, I understand and it's not for everybody there's a lot of stuff that I got in my collection that definitely wouldn't be in other people's collections but it's things that I personally like uh, things that like harken back to me and there's certain things that I'll I'll see and uh, it'll it'll remind me of like uh, one time my past mystery science theater I love them more of those right now I've got okay you have to give it up now <laughs> I got like uh, I think three box sets I got like the uh, 20th 25th anniversary edition I got turkey day collection and I got one other one here somewhere so obviously that's something that's something I'll focus on grabbing a down the road it's just you know having the time the money uh to actually to work on that so as i slow down in my collecting until i get to uh to england hopefully that you guys uh like these videos here and uh can give me recommendations other stuff that you'd like to see of uh, the collections you like to see uh the animation one's definitely coming up there's uh, i got an mgm one to do as well uh, i've got some stuff in my uh, my dvd collection my dvd horror and uh the midnight movies and all bunch of other stuff that I want to do so uh, that's the future that's gonna be the future of my channel and hopefully if you know if I do get to England there in October what we're gonna do then we're gonna do some out and abouts uh, we're gonna go to FOP we're gonna HMV we're gonna to go to uh, as many places as we, as we can and uh, just have a lot of fun so thanks for watching guys thanks for staying for the after sequence and uh, have an awesome night enjoy the rest of your week hope to see you guys here again really soon because I'm hoping to make another video tonight if I don't you got to give it up. <laughs> she doesn't bug me like crazy. She's already been fed, so it's not that. And she's been, she got the tuna. She's got the cool stuff tonight. Thanks for watching, guys, for me right now. Uh, although I said it before, I mean it this time. It really is. Time for tea. Right, Smokey? Time for tea? Yeah, Smokey says time for tea.